Hi. Ryan Little. <laughs> Welcome to a thrift haul of my child's clothes and a couple toys that I found for her. It has been a few days since what you just saw. Um, I was thrifting my daughter Cora's clothes. I went to Once Upon a Child because I had a bunch of clothes that were too small for her that just needed to get out of my house. So I got them out of my house and I traded them for some new ones. I also went to a couple thrift stores that same day and I was looking for some clothes for her, didn't find any clothes for her, but I did find some toys. Well, I found one toy specifically and I'm very excited to show you. So, without further ado, here's the haul. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the toys first because I know you guys wanna see those things first because I wanna see those things first. I found this one at Once Upon a Child, and if you don't know what Once Upon a Child is, it's a thrift consignment store. I wouldn't call it a thrift store because they don't just take whatever. You can sell your gently used children's clothing to them, and they will give you a certain amount back for you to shop with, or you can just get cash for whatever that you exchange. Every time I go, I exchange clothes because that's just kind of like the best way, in my opinion, to go about it. because. Your kid's gonna need more clothes. They're gonna grow, they're gonna go fast, and you need to be ready. So I am always trading clothes with Once Upon a Child. Anyway, okay, toy. I found this toy. This is the racetrack from Melissa and Doug, and it came with two cars. So it goes like this. Wow, yeah, so cool. This is the other car, but I think it's like kind of sticky. Like if you see here, there's a little bit of um, food or something. I need to clean them still, but this one, it just doesn't go as easily as the other one. But it still goes. I'm gonna clean it so that it, it works smoothly. But yeah, this one was $5.50. I don't know how much it retails for originally, but I definitely know that it was more than $5.50. So I'm very happy that I found this. I've been looking for this since, since before she turned one. But I didn't want to spend like $40 on a really nice like handmade one and the Melissa and Doug one I was just like, okay, yeah, cool, whatever, but I didn't want to buy it new from Melissa and Doug, if that makes sense. So I bought it used almost a whole year later. <laughs> I have been looking for a toolbox or like a toolkit and like a doctor set because she's been very interested in like tinkering with things like her sound machine she just likes to play with her sound machine she'll take the cord and she'll like try to plug it back in and then she'll like press the buttons and take off the top and and put it back together so she really likes like tinker tinkering with with things so i found a perfect toy that i have been looking for i was so excited when i saw it i was like oh cool i didn't know what it was at first when i saw it this is what it is Take a guess. <laughs> what do you think it is? <laughs> this is a toolbox. I found this at Goodwill for $6.25. I think it has everything in it. It opens up like this. So cool, right? And it has a hammer, a wrench. It has a screwdriver, but I don't know where the screwdriver is. That's her favorite, so it's probably somewhere around the house. And then it has like one of those like twisty things when you can like hold the wood down and then like turn it and like chop it and then the way that this box works so you have like the prongs here that you can like hang your tools from oh gosh it's hard there's like a little compartment for like smaller like lug nuts or whatever and then this thing in the middle you can actually pull this down and it's like a work bench station that you can like put the screws in and practice screwing so it works like this is perfect for if you really if you're like into like Montessori lifestyle and toys this is like the perfect type of tool set for Montessori because it's like the real it works like real tools but they're wooden I'm very excited about it because it was six dollars and 25 cents and Cora already has been playing with it she loves it and I think she'll be able to play with it for a really long time we're gonna move on to the clothes so first 
I have been looking for a bathing suit for her for such a long time because it is summer and I forget that, you know, last summer she wasn't the same size. Kids like grow. I forget, but I got her this strawberry one piece bathing suit. It's so cute. Um, it's from the brand Penelope Mac. It is 18 months and I honestly was looking for like a two piece bathing suit for her because she is potty trained now so I don't want her to like struggle trying to get this off but I just couldn't pass this up because there's strawberries and if you know Cora personally you know that she had a strawberry themed birthday party and this is just very on brand for her <laughs> this was 650 and I'm very excited for her to wear it some PJs this is only pajama set that I found that day but they're so cute it's a shorts and um and shirt set so that's pretty cool and it's nice for summer so she doesn't sweat while she's sleeping and this one was 350 also 18 months next i will show you some one piece outfits that i found for her this is like a terry cloth like swim cover up and it is from old navy it's 18 to 24 months and this is just to put over when you're swimming so I got this because we are going to be doing well she's going to be doing quite a bit of swimming in her mamma's pool and I intend to take a swimming at least once this summer before summer ends so I got this because we don't have anything like this and we needed it this one is one dollar and fifty cents this one reminded me of like all of the cute little minimalist children's clothing like small shops on instagram if you're a mom on instagram you know what i'm talking about all the cute little small shops they sell this like romper thing it's brown it has ruffles it looks small but it does adjust in the back so i'm gonna see how this will fit on her and if it doesn't fit um i will donate it or sell it i don't really sell chorus clothes like on a separate um platform i have a shop on instagram of like the clothes that I sell, like vintage women's clothes, but I don't have a kid version of that. So let me know if you want that. I can set something like that up and then I start selling some vintage kids clothes. That'd be super cool. Uh, yeah, just a cute romper. And I also got this dress. It's just cute, nice, lightweight, easy. Dresses are awesome right now because again, like I said, she is like potty trained, but she's still learning how to like manipulate her clothing herself. And dresses are really awesome because you don't have to deal with like the pulling down of pants and all that. You just gotta pop a squat, get the dress out of the way. And this is from the brand Jumping Beans. It is 2T, so this will probably fit her next summer. I have no idea, but we'll see, hopefully. And this one was 350. Now I'll show you some of the bottoms that I got her. <laughs> I found a couple of these shorts. They're like the 70s like gym shorts that are super trendy now, even for like for like for like adults, but they're kid size. But look at these, these are so cute. I want a pair of shorts like this. This brand is Gare Animals. I have no idea what that means, but this is actually 3T. So this will definitely go into next summer because it's a little bit bigger, but I'll see if she fits in it now. And this one was a dollar, 50 cents. Now the other like cute 70s gym shorts that I found were these purple ones. So cute. I can't wait to put them on her. Uh, this was 450 and this is actually size 18 months. So 18 to 24 months from the children's place. So yeah, I can't wait to put them on her. They're just super cute. I found a couple more. This was on sale or this was actually clearance. So it was 450 but 30% off 450, whatever that is, from Oshkosh Bagosh. And they're just like play shorts. They remind me of biker shorts, but they're not quite as long to be considered biker shorts. Next, they're like the chambray, not denim, but look like denim shorts with like a little drawstring. And these are real pockets, so she could put like her crackers in there or something. <laughs> this was also on clearance, 30% um, off of 250 and the brand is Okie Dokie. These pants actually came in a set, so I'll show you the top after this, but these are like like joggers um, from Jessica Simpson brand, and they are size 24 months. 
it's always good to have comfy pants for your kid like jeans are cute but they can't really move in them it kind of restricts their like range of play so it's nice to have things that look like jeans but are not really jeans so the top that goes with it is this cute like yellow like swing top it's super cute this outfit will probably fit her better next spring because this is 24 months but like i said kids grow really fast and she is growing super fast so it's always good to have bigger clothes on deck for whenever that happens whenever they have a growth spurt and i'm looking now this is actually missing a button i'll have to find a button and put it on there still super cute and this one is this one was 650 for the whole set so jeans jeggings and pants for 650 pretty good deal and now on to tops this is from the gap tags on it it's actually from marshall's but it is baby gap brand so it's never been worn it's new it's so cute like look at those look at that so cute it is size 2t and it was 450 brand spanking new next this top is so cute i wish i had this top in my size this is super cute or like a dress that would be so cute if i had a matching dress for this the brand is called shabby chic which is very appropriate it's very shabby chic it's just like a peasant top kind of reminds me of the jessica simpson one but probably this probably was expensive like beforehand the size is 18 months this one was 350 last piece of clothing and then i'm gonna go into like the whole price thing so you guys know how it works out and i want to tell you how much i spent on all this um this shirt is from h m it's yellow like peplum top size 18 months to 24 months or is it like one and a half year to two two years cute nice lightweight yellow top from h m before i go into the whole pricing system of what they do i want to show you these shoes that i got her. i forgot that i got these shoes because she's been wearing them because they're so cute i got her these like little gold reeboks <laughs> these were or these are a size five toddler five toddler size five and these were 1350 so these were actually the most expensive things that i got but they were also 20 percent off so worth it now for the pricing breakdown of everything originally the whole entire total was 70 dollars so that's how much I would have spent if I didn't sell that day and if I didn't trade anything in that day. And because I did trade in that day, I got 20% off my entire order, like I said before. And then because I had things to trade in, they knocked off the amount that they would have given me in cash from the total that I was spending instead of just giving me the cash. So from $70, it became $53.60 okay and then from the $53.60 the amount that I traded in for the for the clothes that I gave to the store to once upon a child was $19.30 worth of clothing so I went from $53.60 to paying this is what I ended up paying at the end of all this $37.14 for all of these clothes the shoes and the race track. I always advocate for shopping secondhand first before you buy anything brand new because one it's cheaper uh, I, the people in my life don't have lots of money to just spend on like ethical brands for their kids although that's nice and although that's really cool if you can do that I personally cannot do that so I shop secondhand for everything basically clothes decor my clothes whatever the light is leaving us so i'm going to wrap up this video by saying thank you for watching if you want to see more thrift hauls or things like this where i go consigning for my kids clothes subscribe if you want to see what i do on the daily sometimes i'll post like igtv videos of quick thrift hauls no like editing or whatever follow me on instagram that's samstagram with two eyes and if you are interested in buying any like vintage clothing that i thrift and I fix up and I resell for you guys to buy, go ahead and follow my shop page. 
it's like Samstagram, but Shopstagram, two eyes also. So without further ado, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. That was so corny. Bye. Bye. Can you wave? Bye. Who's that? Come on. And? Mommy. Yeah. Do you want to show them your shirt? What you got on your shirt? Donuts. Donuts. They're pretty. Did you pick it out yourself? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Okay. Bye, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye.